So from today, December 7th, 1990, and on the Arsenio Hall show, you had Laura Flynn Boyle of Twin Peaks, who does talk a little bit about it. Mostly she's promoting the film The Rookie that she made with Clint Eastwood. And uh, talks about, at the very end, the most interesting thing was her climb from living in a tenement building with her mother, killing rats, to being on the Arsenio Hall show, her words. So uh, this is, this one's a master. I was actually watching while I taped it. So this is in great quality. Enjoy. Laura Flynn Boyle, Arsenio, 33 years ago tonight. My next guest not only co-stars in the new film that Clint Eastwood directed called The Rookie, she also plays Donna on Twin Peaks. She did not kill Laura Palmer, okay? We all know Nelson killed Laura Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Laura Flynn Boyle. <laughs> everything i like people to feel at home and comfortable take off your shoes your feet don't stink i'm happy about that i'm, I'm glad well, you're it's here it's so shiny over there and i've seen so many people come on and trip so. yeah yeah it, it will take you out but the, i know you like pretty pumps so i brought them out anyway these are nice these are these are nice pumps you naked with these pumps on you would be like mm. <laughs> i like those um <laughs> Clint Eastwood directs this movie. Right. Were you starstruck to work with this guy? Uh, a little, yeah. Um, actually, it was it was quite an experience. I remember one day we were sitting uh, outside. We were doing this big, you know, shoot 'em up scene, and I was sitting in my chair. And Clint's chair is right next to mine, but it's much bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was <laughs> going through a tabloid magazine, just reading and. And uh, Clint came up, and he sat down, and I could see him looking down and over. And I finally said, Clint, what are you looking at? And he said, what is that? And I said, well, it's tabloid magazine. He said, mm -hmm. oh. And then I uh, kept turning the pages, and I, I said, well, Clint, here's a picture of you, as a matter of fact. Mm. And so uh, uh, Clint and I used to sit around and read the tabloids and hang out, Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. He's nothing like that character, though, is he? Or, no. is, or is he a macho? No, no. We used to, there's, a, there's a few scenes in the movie that uh, uh, Charlie and I have in bed. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's very uncomfortable. You sit around and, and you're pretending like nobody's there and you have very little clothes on. And uh, uh, Clint had come up to me and said, Are you comfortable? And I said, Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a little nervous. And I turned around and his face was bright, bright red. And he just kind of looked at me and walked away. Why was he so shy? Well, he's, he's, he's very shy, and he's very much of a gentleman. I mean, he's very soft-spoken, and, you know, he's a great guy. He's very down-to-earth, and he's not, you know, he doesn't walk around with a gun and tell everybody to say, make my day. Yeah. You think he was probably more nervous directing a love scene than you were doing it? Definitely. Hmm. And, and you did this uh, love scene with the actor that plays your husband in this movie. Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Is he that plays correct? my boyfriend. Plus your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and I think the clip that we have is uh, you and Charlie. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's of us um, uh, in bed, and um, uh, he's been having a very rough time at his new job, and I'm curious. <laughs> okay, that's an unusual place to be curious. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about your job, honey. Let's let's see the clip, uh, Sandy. I think sometimes you're wasting your time with me. Don't make me feel like this. I've always stood behind every decision you've made. I know that when there's something wrong, you tell me. But there's something going on that you won't let me understand. I think something's gonna happen, sir. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Something.
looks like a good scene. You real proud of this project? Yeah, I'm really proud of it. It's really great. Because most, mo I, I see a lot of action movies. I see all of them. And most action movies, the women are there to cry or, you know, uh, comfort the men, but they don't really do anything. And I get to do a lot in this movie. Yeah, okay, let's take a commercial. We'll come right back with Laura Flynn Boyle. <laughs> Sure. We, we were talking about <laughs> dreams, because I've been having weird dreams. Tell them about the dream you have. Uh, well, I, I uh, ever since I was a little girl, there's this stuff that you can buy called Fluffernutter, and it's a marshmallow spread to put on things. Mm -hmm. And since I was a little girl, my cousins and I used to sit around on the weekends and make these food concoctions and dare the other person to eat them. So we, I used to make pizza with Fluffernutter and honey and anchovies and make somebody else eat it. So every now and then when I have a dream, I dream that I'm drowning in fluffernutter. <laughs> now, what do you think that means? I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever, like, I don't know, asked? Oh, oh, you know, everybody in L.A. wants to tell you what it means. I think, I don't know, it's anything from somebody said I miss my childhood and I don't want to be a grown-up, so I'm, I'm trying to immerse myself in my childhood. All sorts of crazy things. Yeah. I think it just means I'm drowning in fluffernutter. <laughs> wow. Um, somebody told me you were real shy. You're not shy at all. Well, I, I think with actors, you get this adrenaline, you know, and you can just, like, I, I'll watch this tonight and go, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. But when you're in front of a crowd, it's different. When I was a little girl, my mom and I lived in this apartment building, and right next door was this house, and they had about 10 kids. Mm -hmm. And one day, my mom needed a cup of sugar. And she said, you know, Lara, go next door and ask the Reppins for some sugar. And I cried for two hours and begged her not to make me go over there. I'm, I'm very shy. A shy person wouldn't follow Holly Hunter. <laughs> yes, they would. I didn't say anything. Oh, really? <laughs> Did that really happen? Yeah. You followed her? Yeah. I mean, you really admire her as an actress? Oh, and... yeah. Well, I mean, you know, she's somebody that I've seen on the big screen. And I think she's wonderful. I followed, um, uh, uh, a, a lot of people before. I, mean, <laughs> I was I was in the Ivy one time having lunch with my agent, uh -huh. and uh, we were sitting there. And about three tables uh, across from us was was a, a big movie star to me. And I, I started weeping. And my agent said, "What's wrong?" And I said, "Well, Kevin Costner's sitting over there." <laughs> she said, "Well, you want to meet him?" I was like, "No, I don't want to meet him." <laughs> you you must be wild at like the Emmys or something like that, yeah. you know? During oh, the whole great. show, you like sneaking behind people going to the bathroom, you know? I do. <laughs> I, dr I drive uh, people crazy. I, I, at the Emmys, I just, you know, the whole time I'm looking around me. And we, we sat next to uh, uh, everybody from TV. I mean, there was L.A. Law, and then, and then there was Designing Women. And, and the entire time, you know, I just kept, like, trying to, like, listen to what they were saying. Yeah. Did you meet a lot of people that maybe you've always wanted to meet? No, not really. Um, most of the time, it's kind of disillusioning to meet them because... You know, if they're, they're in a bad mood or, you know, they've had so many people bugging them, they're not always as happy to see you as you are them. Sometimes you think people aren't nice at a, at a show like that, but it's probably because they're real nervous and stuff. And I think so. I mean, I, I, I forget that they're real people, too, but I guess you're right. Yeah. How's Twin Peaks going? It's going good. It's going good. We're yeah. still up there. That, that's good because, you still know. still cold up there, though. Where do you do it? We do, we do it right here in uh, Soundstage. Oh. But we're still winter. We've only, we've been on the show for, we've done it for two years and only two weeks have passed. So I'm like, <laughs> let's keep moving. Come on, pick up the pace. Let's get into summer. Yeah, yeah. When do you have time to do all the things you do? I mean, you took, you took a hiatus and, and did the movie right. with Clint? Um, well, actually, yeah, I did that on hiatus and I've been able to work with Twin Peaks to do other things, you know. They've been, you know, very helpful. You talked about your mom. Um, are you real close to your mom? Extremely close. Was it just you and your mom growing up? Yep. Mm -hmm. We used to live in a, a, an old uh, tenement sort of building that my mom was sort of refixing. And uh, just on the way over here, we were in the limo. And my mom said, boy, we've come a long way from shoveling rats. 
you know? Because mm. she used to have to put, we lived in this horrible building, and she used to have to put, like, rat bait out, and I used to have to go shovel them up. Now I'm on Arsini Hall. Yeah. Well, where's, where is, um, where's your mom now? Does she live with you? She has yeah. her own place? She's probably right back in the dressing room. <laughs> Ready to come out with no shoes on. Yeah. Now they're all like, what do you mean you're not wearing shoes out? What are you doing? So does she kind of work with you, or is she just, like, your best friend? Oh, she, she works for me. She's my manager. She's my best friend. She's everything. That's good. That's good. Well, good luck with the rookie. Thank you. And I hope to see you back here soon. We'll uh, talk to you when the weather breaks uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Twin Peaks. Laura Flynn Boyle. <laughs> Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. It's awfully bright out here. I'd click on another one of my videos. Quit looking into the sun. Your mother told you not to do that. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel more, there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Ooh, ooh!